King Van Sack. In this Cambodian name, the surname is Kang. In accordance with Cambodian custom, this person should be referred to by the given name, Van Sack. King Van Sack, Khmer, King Van Sack, K. Van Sack, September 19, 1925, December 18. 2008, was a Cambodian scholar, philosopher, and Khmer linguist. He invented the Khmer typewriter keyboard in 1952. He lived in exile in Paris, France, from 1970 until his death in 2008. He died at the age of 83 at the hospital of Montmorency, free, in the outskirts of Paris after suffering from a chronic illness. In modern Cambodia, Van Sack is known for being one of the influential figures for the next generations of Cambodian scholars and intellectuals. He left behind him a legacy in literature, including two drama plays, short stories, many poems and his research from the 1940s. Politically left-wing, he was a member of the Radical Democratic Party, and stood unsuccessfully as its MP candidate in the 1955 elections. He was also a friend and mentor of Saloth Sar, later known as Pol Pot, while both of them were studying in Paris. Along with I. V. Koyas and Kuan Sokamfu, King Van Sack was one of the three pioneers of Khmer linguistics and grammar. Biography King Vanek was born in a small village in Kampong Cham province on September 19, 1925, the same year Pol Pot was born. Van Sack mentored Pol Pot while both were in France. Both of them appeared to share an opinion on original Khmer, considering Buddhism and Hinduism had contaminated the Khmer original culture. After obtaining his baccalaureate in philosophy in 1946 in Phnom Penh, Van Sack continued his studies in Paris on a scholarship and worked as a Khmer language assistant at the National School of Modern Eastern Languages, École Nationale de Langues Orientales. During his studies, he spent two years teaching Khmer language at the School of Oriental and African Studies, University of London. He later married Suzanne Colleville, a French national, who shared with him a passion for Eastern languages. She held diplomas in the Cambodian, Lao, and Thai languages, and also obtained a degree in physical science at the University of Cannes, as revealed by the, unpublished, writing of Keen Hock Dai, a former student as well as friend of King Van Sack. Career In 1952, he returned to Cambodia with his wife and a bachelor's degree which he obtained at the Faculty of Literature and Human Science University of Paris in 1951. He later worked as a teacher at the prestigious Lycée Sisawath in Phnom Penh, and decided to stay there from 1952 to 1958. The most radical of his friends began distancing themselves from him. He covered for the president of the Cambodian Students Association when the group was invited to attend Youngsters World Peace Celebrations in Berlin, but was eventually asked not to go with the group just before they were due to leave. Half a century later, Van Sack still fulminated at the simple idea of it, Philip Short says. King Van Sack explained to him that the other ones wanted to get rid of him. Short quoted him, they knew that I was not the tough kind like them. I thought too much. I was not a stubborn person and did not act with fanaticism nor like an extremist. I Ying Sari, a former high school classmate who later became Minister of Foreign Affairs of the Khmer Rouge government himself told me later, you are too sensitive. You will never be a politician. In order to make politics, you have to be tough. You will not get there, brother. You are too sentimental. Beliefs Strongly opposed to the Cambodian monarchy, Van Sack was also known for his role as a mentor to Saloth Sar, later known as Pol Pot, who ruled Cambodia from 1975 to 1979. During Pol Pot's rule of Cambodia, at least two million people died from execution, starvation and overwork. A mentor for Cambodian students in Paris. King Van Sack became one of the key figures of the Cambodian student community in Paris. As described by historian Philip Short in his book titled, Pol Pot, Anatomy of a Nightmare, 
During the winter of 1950, more exclusive student meetings took place several times every month at King Van Sack's flat in Paris, to discuss political issues and more precisely about the future of Cambodia, a country which, for the first time, was directly affected by the war in Vietnam. The historian explains that the meetings was the beginning of Sal Othsar's political training and more involvement into the Khmer political affairs. Philip Short also details that at that time communism was not their main concern, and recalls that Vansack himself was more aware of political reality than most of his fellow students. Vansack appeared to offend a young French woman of the high bourgeoisie by offering her, a year before, to go and spend the afternoon at the Fête de l'Humanite, organized by the French Communist Party. 9. He said, I had no idea it was a communist meeting. I thought it was just a celebration for humanity, that's all. Van Sack Studies Group tried to stay away from the political labels as most of the members prefer themselves to be part of a progressist trend. Opposition to Khmerization Program Van Sack and French-oriented scholars opposed the Khmerization program invented by Chuan Nath, and chose another way for language they transformed French words into the Khmer vocabulary using the same pronunciation as much as possible with the Khmer alphabet. Legacy In 1952, he invented the Khmer typewriter keyboard. After his death, Prime Minister Hun Sen expressed his regret, saying Cambodia lost a well-known intellectual. Before his death, Van Sack wrote a letter to Premier Hun Sen to let him know that he wanted to visit Cambodia after many years spent abroad since the 1970s. His very close friends said that Van Sack had a very last wish to have his ashes buried inside his mother's stupa in Cambodia.